I guess your mind is made up. I know, Buck. I've been talking about going to New York for a long time. Figured after I got these cattle loaded, there wouldn't be much doing. It'd be a good time for me to make the trip. Gee, Hoppy, I don't see why I can't go. You're staying right here with Wendy. I kind of figure a new boss might do you some good. Oh, but Hoppy, if I Oh, could... there you go. Ain't you learned yet when Hoppy says something, he means it? <laughs> New York. Yep. Couldn't let you go without saying goodbye, Hoppy. Well, it's mighty nice of you to come over. Have a good time. I will. <laughs> Hurry back, because we're sure going to miss you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, boys. So long, Buck. So long, Hoppy. Bye, Hoppy. Bye, Hoppy. See Hoppy go without us, Wendy. You don't hear me cheering, none, do you? Come on, let's head back to the ranch. Not me. I'm going into town. I've got a little forgetting to do. You heard what Hoppy said? I'm the boss. You better steer clear of town. Besides, you heard what Buck said. He don't want his men getting in no fights. Well, maybe a little excitement wouldn't go bad right now. Yeah, maybe it wouldn't. Right now. Slate brought in? Just finished. It runs over $600 to the ton. I had an idea it was high grade. This seems to be my lucky day. I'm getting all the breaks. What do you mean? Cassidy pulled out this morning, heading for new range. For good. I'll bet 10 to 1 to freeze out mine as a new owner inside of a month. You figure out everything, don't you, Perkins? Tell Slade I'm expecting him to see that an accident happens to Dennis. And the sooner the better. How'd it happen? Got careless. I told him to be careful while he's working around that dead end. A piece of timber fell on him. That's the third man that's died down here in a week. I'm beginning to think the place is jinxed. Me too. And if it weren't that folks might think I was yellow, I'd quit right now. And I'd tell all the boys they'd better do the same thing. Can't say that I'd blame you much. Leave with your left, 
lucky. You ain't going to win no fights leading with your right. Fraser, call off your miners. What's the matter, Peters? My men playing a little too rough for your cowboys? Your men can't take care of themselves. Why don't you keep them out of town? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Lucky. I've asked you men not to come into town. Now I'm ordering you to stay out. From now on, any man that wants to keep on working for me has got to stay out of this town. I'll get back to the ranch. Hey, Pop, he's along. I'll bet you we'd lick Frazier and his gang. I don't know why he had to go traipsing off anyhow. Well, I bet he had a darn good reason. You've done like I told you and hadn't led with your rights, you wouldn't have got that black eye. Yeah, well, what'd you lead with? Oh. Here's where we hit that pay streak in the slate. Yes, Mr. Dennis. It held up and improved, until we started operating the new tunnel and fell off completely. That happens sometimes. You think you've got a vein of good ore and it pinches out. Well, I suppose there's nothing left to do but suspend work until I locate that vein again. I hate to do it, but tell the men. Yes, Mr. Hunter. Tell his wife. I didn't want to bring the matter up at a time like this, Mrs. Dennis. But I knew the circumstances. I knew your husband was running short of cash. I appreciate your tact. But I've no intention of selling the mine. To be frank with you, I don't see how you could possibly develop the freeze-out mine without it costing you a lot more than it's worth. However, I think I could uh, handle both of them without much added expense or trouble. Thanks, Mr. Fraser, but I'm not interested in selling. That mine was Denny's dream. Well, I only thought that you would want to carry out your husband's plans and, and make your home in the East. I'll move East when I'm satisfied the freeze-out is on a paying basis again. Well, I wish you luck. I hope you succeed. I will, Mr. Fraser. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mrs. Dennis. I hear they had another accident in the freeze-out mine today. Looks like that'd be a good place to stay out of. Yeah, I feel kind of sorry for Mrs. Dennis trying to run it all alone. You hear that, son? Yeah, accidents will happen. I'm just wondering if they all was accidents. Where are you going? Town. I got an idea Miss Ann needs my help. You know what the boss said? If he catches you in town, it's going to cost you your job. Listen, Lucky. If it was Hoppy, and somebody needed him, he wouldn't wait to find out what it was going to cost.
Wait a minute. I'm going with you. It's very kind of both of you. But what help can you be? You men know nothing about mining. Why, Miss Ann, I forgot more about mining than most men around here will ever know. I'll get you miners if I have to round them up with a six gun. It's more than that, Wendy. I'm not satisfied with the findings of the inquest. I'm sure Denny's death wasn't accidental. If you leave it to me, I'll find out. Oh, you couldn't find out what day it was if you had a handful of calendars. I wish Hoppy was here. I'd bid him me straighten this thing out in jig time. Wouldn't take long to get a letter to him. I couldn't expect Hoppy to do favors for me. If you think you can, Miss Ann, you don't know him like I thought you did. I can't ask him to come back, Wendy. She's sure in a mess, all right. Just because she's too proud to call on the one man that could help her. Well, we can do the calling for her. I'm going to write Hoppy a letter as soon as we get back to the ranch. Can you write? Well, you don't think I went to school a whole year for nothing, do you? <laughs> Can anybody read your writing? Anybody but you, you windbag. Say, on second thought, I don't think I should write Hoppy that letter. Hey, afraid even he can't read it, huh? Take that. Probably wouldn't reach him in time before he left the shipping post. Well, one of us got to go after him. Oh. Yeah, well, it might as well be me. See you later, Wendy. <laughs> Young whippersnapper. Caught you. What's the matter? Dennis has been killed. Dennis? Looks like murder. Um, I'd better go back. I knew you'd see things that way. Uh, never mind flagging him down. I, I can't go. I don't want Cassidy to see you with me. Wonder what he's doing back in town. I'm not sure, but I'm willing to bet two to one he's not here to help us. I don't like the looks of it. Well, it's too late to back out now. We're in too deep. But I've got an idea that I can figure just as fast as Mr. Cassidy. We'll let him make the first move. Let him think he's got things his own way. Then when the right time comes, I'll take care of Mr. Cassidy if I have to. Now go on and tell me the rest of the story. You know I'll do anything I can to help you. I haven't any right to ask you to get mixed up in my troubles. You've got every right in the world, Ann. You know how I felt about Denny. Now come on and tell me. Well, things are going along fine. It looked as if the pay streak would develop into something really worthwhile. If it did, we were going east to live. He went down to the mine to see why the ore was dropping off. A timber fell on him, so they said. But I don't believe it. Somebody's trying to get that property. There's a mine right next to yours, isn't there? Why, yes. The Devil May Care mine. Who owns that? Fraser. Do you know anything about him? Oh, well, no, except that he's always been rather nice, as far as I know. Did, uh, did he ever try to buy the mine since Denny, I mean, since the accident? Why, yes. He said it wasn't worth anything, but if a few hundred dollars would help me, he... 
Papa, you don't think he... I don't know what to think. The first thing we got to do is find out what happened to that pay streak. If that's still there, it'll tell us a lot. You're not going to try working that mine yourself. It's the only way we can find out anything. But more men are liable to die down there. Maybe you. Nobody goes till his time comes. Besides, folks have always said I don't kill easy. I'm going over and see Buck Peters. Mind if I ride with you? I don't know any better company. Wait a minute and I'll sing. <laughs> Lucky's contraptions cross between swimming in the creek and fetching a pail of water. <laughs> hey, what's the idea getting so clean? You just get dirty again. Ain't you ever heard that cleanliness is next to godliness? Oh, that's on Sunday. Oh, that's every day. Well, anyway, you're cleanly. <laughs> that's better than being neither. <laughs> you're darn <done> tootin'. <laughs> oh, close your trap, you young whippersnapper. <laughs> but, Buck, the only thing I'm asking is, will you and the boys back me up when I need you? Hoppy, I'm a cattleman. I don't want nothing to do with miners or mining. Besides, I'm aiming to steer clear of any trouble that don't concern me. You've got a right to feel that way. Oh, I've got no argument with you there. Well, thanks for listening, anyhow. Say, you ain't aiming to go through with this thing by yourself, are you, Hoppy? Dennis was a friend of mine. Well, all right. Well, I'm just a dang soft-hearted idiot for giving in to you. Darn your hide, you always did have a way of making me see things your way. You mean you'll help me out? Yeah, I reckon it amounts to that. Oh, thanks a lot, Buck. I suppose long as I'm going to back you up, I uh, might just well feed you, too. <laughs> Come on in, get yourself a bite to eat. I'll join you in a minute. I want to speak to Wendy. All right. Oh, hello, Wendy. How are you? I want to thank you for getting Mr. Cassidy. Oh, it not me, Miss Hands. We're lucky. But say, if you want to thank him, I'll fetch you to him. He's just around the corner. Please do, Wendy. I want to see him. Lady, I'd be tickled to death. <laughs> hey, Jim. Seen Lucky around here anywhere? Yeah, I saw him over there in a the barrel. In a barrel? <laughs> yeah. I wonder why. Let's see. Yeah, well, a little water wouldn't hurt any of you fellas. Go away, Wendy! There's a lady to see you, Lucky. Go away, Wendy. <laughs> First time I ever seen him scared of a woman. Go away, Wendy. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? Uh, I guess he must be stuck in the barrel. Uh, maybe I ought to bust it open. Go away, I'm taking a shower. Oh, well, I'll wait out in front. <laughs> Please go away, Wendy. <laughs> Come on, Lucky. The lady wants to see you. Yeah, well, I don't want to see her. Go away. <laughs> oh, all right. Hey! hey! <laughs> <laughs> Do a good job now. That's <laughs> a dirty trick. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Cassidy's at the freeze out getting a bunch of miners together. What's he up to? Figuring on opening the mine. Well, get up there quick and keep an eye on him. You have to go to work digging rock yourself. I got you. I asked you men to come up here to find out how many of you are willing to go back to work. Ain't none of us working for our help. Nobody's asking you to. I just bought into this mine and I'll guarantee that every man that goes in there gets paid for it. Looks like you're throwing good money after bad, mister. Maybe so. But I still got an idea there's pay dirt in that mine. Even if there is, I ain't hankering to go down there no more. The place is jinxed, I tell you. Man takes his life in his hands every time he goes into that mine. You men don't look like you're scared easy. But maybe I'm wrong. Well, if none of you got nerve enough to go in there with me, it looks like I'll have to work the mine myself. Ain't nobody gonna back me down, mister. 
If you're willing to go into that mine, I am too. As long as I get paid for it. Me too. Me too. I heard what you said, Mr. Cassidy. As long as you're going to work the mine, I'm willing to string along with you if I have to swing a pick myself. I can be a big help to you. I was foreman here and I know the whole layout. And besides, if there's anything I can do to help the little lady that owns the place, I'd be glad to do it. Thanks, Mr. Uh... Slade. I'd be glad to have a foreman like you around, Slade. Get the boys started. All right, boys. All I want to work, check in. Keep the men working right in this part of the tunnel. Some likely looking rock around here. Thanks, I'll do that. That's fine. All right, you men, keep busy just where you are. You sure know your work. <laughs> Ought to, been mining all my life. You know, I'm mighty lucky to have men like you around me. You and Slade. He seems to know what he's doing. I guess he knows his job all right. Say, uh, was he the foreman down here when they was following that rich vein of ore? Yeah. Was you one of the men working for him? No, Slade had trouble with that bunch. Fired them all. Accused them of high grade. Come on, get a move on. We gotta get a load out. I figure we ought to have a night watchman around here. I'm going into town, so I'll pick up somebody. Well, you needn't bother, Mr. Cassidy. If you think we need a night watchman, I'll get just a man for you. Think you can trust him? Well, I wouldn't have him around here if I couldn't. All right, go ahead and hire him. Meantime, keep the boys busy. I'll see you later. Hi, fellas. Hi, Hoppy. Hello, Hoppy. Got a job for you two. Trouble brewing? We're ready. There's going to be a watchman at the Freeze Out Mine tonight. I want you to invite him out to the ranch for a little visit. You might have to invite him real hard. Meaning I'm supposed to ride herd on him. That's it, exactly. And you got to keep him from talking. Well, how about me? You ain't going to leave me out of this. Not on your life, old timer. I'm saving you for the most important job. You're going to take the night watchman's place. Oh, it's all right. Now you'll be right in the middle of all the excitement. Well, whatever it is, you can depend on me. What's the play? Well, the first thing we got to do is get this guy out to the ranch. Then tomorrow, I want you to come up to the freeze out, see? I meet a fellow up there by the name of Slade. So you're sure Cassidy isn't wise to what we've been doing? Of course. He even let me put Martin on as night watchman. That was a smart idea. Well, I'm putting a night gang to work every night from now on instead of once a week. 
And it's up to you to see that nobody gets wise. How much we got in the kitty now, Perkins? Over 15,000. Ah, that's piker money. We're gonna have 50,000 in the pot this time next month. 50,000? Now hurry up, get back to your job. Huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> to lay his eyes on you. Ah, shut up. See you tomorrow night. Sure, Martin knows about giving us a signal? Yeah, I'll leave it to him. Good night. Good night. Think you got everything straight? Sure. If I see any strangers around it, a wrap on the water pipe. Right. Keep your eyes open. Good night. Good night. Take charge of that little trinket. Never mind wrapping on that water pipe. Say, you look tired. I'll bet you're just aching to get out there on a ranch. Hey, you're crazy. I got a job here. Oh, no. You mean you did have a job here. See what I tell you, Wendy? He's just crazy to get out there. Yeah. I'll bet you're just aching to go out there with me. Well, it looks like since you're doing the inviting, I'll have to accept. Oh, you'll love it out there. Nice soft beds and good eats. Shall I take your arm or will you come along? Uh, you'll get yours for this. You don't need to go thanking us here. You can thank me when I get back to the ranch. Poppy, I'm worried. What about? I wish I hadn't gotten you into this. If there's going to be any gunplay. Why don't you let me do the worrying? Oh, I can't help it, Hoppy. If anything were to happen to you, I, I'd feel I was to blame. You might as well know the truth, Anne. This town's liable to be a mighty unhealthy place for a while. Why don't you go out to the ranch and stay? At least until this is straightened out. I'm going to stay right here. Maybe I can be of some help. But you can't tell what's liable to happen. You might even be in danger yourself. Why don't you go away for a while? No. I'm staying. All right. Have it your own way. Morning, Murphy. Morning. 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 Good morning, Mr. Cassidy. Oh, good morning, Slade. You're up early. Yeah, waking the sun up. Thought to take a run up here first thing. Say, uh, Slade, I thought you were gonna hire a watchman. I did hire one. Les Martin came to work last night. Nobody on the job when I come up here this morning. There wasn't? Maybe he went to sleep in the tool shed. Hey, which one of you fellas is a former? He is. Hey? I say he is. What's he? He's a foreman, you deaf old idiot. What do you want? I'm the foreman. I'm looking for that night watchman's job. I met the fellow that had it. He said he was quitting to go up to the county seat to see a doctor. He's ailing. Nothing wrong with his penicillin. 
I think we better get somebody else for a watchman. This old good for nothing's a blank unless you yell at him. You say something to me, mister? Well, how about the job? If I don't get it, I don't eat. I hate to turn down a hungry man. Well, it's up to you if you think he can earn his keep. I think he can. What's your name, you old battle axe? Huh? Your name. Name. N-A-M-E. I ain't lame. What's your name? Oh, name, yeah. Harry, uh, Harry Wishy Sweeney. Anything else? Age. Uh, huh? Age. Never had the age, you another. How old are you? Thirty-two. <laughs> <laughs> What's all the yelling about here, huh? If that guy's 32, I'm a hyena. <laughs> uh, what's that? Let it go. Huh? Experience? Uh, hey, what's the matter, this fella? Can't he talk English? He's all right. Tell him you'll take the job. Tell him what? Say you'll, you'll take, take the, the job! job. You're dirty tootin' I'll take his job. What are you supposed to come up there for, pick Daisy? Report to work at 8 tonight. 8? Eight. 8 it is, and I like to see somebody stop me. You'll sleep in the tool shack. You better show him where he's going to sleep. If you try explaining anything to him, you'll have to yell your lungs out. A little early for work, Mr. Slade. Well, I make an inspection every night. Eh? Oh, shut up. Oh, lost your pup, eh? Too bad. Hi, up there. Hi. Got a new watchman? Yeah? Yeah, and you won't have to kill him unless you want to. He's deaf and dumb. And he'll be dead if he makes any phony moves. I'm watchman, old fella. Casty sure did me a favor and let me take you out of your grave. Why should I shave? There ain't no society folks around here. <laughs> Good night. All right, men, back to work. It was just that old white cat. Yes, sir. There they was, big as life, working away in our mine. Were they working on both tunnels? Uh-uh. There was only in one. The tunnel on the right as you faced them? Yeah. How'd you know? Because that's the one we don't work. Wendy, there's something fishy about this. My guess is that there's a tunnel leads from the Delma Care mine and connects with ours. And the slaves in with Fraser. Are we rounding them up tonight? 
No, not till we find out who got Denny. Ah. You better get back to mine now before they miss you. Blow the light out, will you? Of men out the mouth of the tunnel. Better put some new timber up out there. It looks kind of weak. Looks all right to me. Maybe it does, but I want to make sure. All right. Just as you say. Cross, Williams, come on with me. What are you trying to do? Shut up. I'll ask that question. Well, I ain't talking. Well, what's the meaning of this? It means there's no more mystery about the freeze-out mine. Our neighbor here lets himself in through the side door there. Helps himself to our gold and kills anybody that happens to get in his way. Nice work, Cassidy. Well, take your prisoner down to the assay office and explain things to Perkins. If the gold from the devil may care much as the gold in the vein we lost, we'll trap the whole outfit. Thanks for the idea, Slade. Hey, you. Get up. Walk between us and watch your step. Don't make any phony moves. Mr. Cassidy wants to know if the ore they're shipping from the Devil May Care mine matches this piece we took out of the freeze out when we first hit that rich vein. I'll take a note. Those two rocks are from the same place. And you'll testify that the Devil May Care gold is out of the freeze out mine? Positively. Good. Now we can. Just uh, a minute. I'd like to have that statement in writing. Oh, you can trust me, Cassidy. But I don't blame you for taking no chances. Oh, I trust you, all right. Just that I like to see things on paper. There'd be less lawing if there were more men like you. What are you going to do with him? Figure on turning him over to the sheriff for safekeeping till we round up the others. You got any better ideas? If you do that, word's liable to get out. What of it? Well, if the men who've been high grading your gold find out that you're onto them, they'll stay away from the freezer, and you'll never catch them. I never thought of that. What do you suggest? We ought to hide him someplace he can't do any talking until we round up the rest of the gang. Do you know of a place? There's a deserted prospector shack out in Sandstone Gulch. We could hold him there. That sounds all right to me. Here's your statement, Mr. Cassidy. I'll pick this little piece of paper. Come on, let's go back to mine. I want to get my horse. Stand still, you jughead. Say, Slade, how much of a ride is it out to that uh, deserted shack in Sandstone Gulch? About half an hour. 
That's fine. I got to be back here within the hour. We ought to make it easy in that time if we don't have any more trouble. Come on. inside. Sit down. Now, if you were to talk, we might get a court to go a little easier on you for turning state's evidence. Evidence against who? He knows who I'm talking about. The boss. The one that planned this whole thing. I got a pretty good idea who he is, too. But have it your own way. I'm just trying to save all of us a little trouble. Better tie him up, Cassidy. We wouldn't want him to get back to town in time to warn the others. I'm gonna let you tie him up, Slade. What do you mean? Unless I'm mighty mistaken, you're in this as deep as anyone. Drop it, Cassidy, you're in trouble. I had an idea I might be needed, but Perkins told me what was up. Here, tie him up. Done, I'll finish it. No, if he was found with lead in, his friends wouldn't wrestle. They tracked us down. Now, here's a much better way. Take those darn fool chances. Well, it was worth it, Wendley. I found out who the whole gang is. You did? Yeah. Well, what's the next move? From now on, it's going to be easy. See that Buck and the boys are ready tonight. When the men go into the mine, you get the signal. Well, what's the signal? Well, uh, light your pipe. The uh, match will be a signal. Sure. Uh, 
Well, I guess I got my horse. Have Lucky come by here and pick me up. I gotta play dead here till sundown. I'll meet you to Shindy. That ain't gonna be no party. suspicious of me, but everything's all set for tonight. I'm supposed to ride out now and tell Buck Peters, but I'm scared I'm being watched. I'll go, Wendy. I want to do something to help. Uh, I don't like the idea. If anything ever happened to you, Hoppy never forgive me. Why, well, I wouldn't even forgive myself. I've got to take the same chances as everyone else. Well, all right. Tell Lucky to pick up Hoppy in Sandstone Gulch. And remember the signal. They're supposed to close in on the mine when I light my pipe. And mind you, come right back. One, pick up Hoppy. Pick up Hoppy. Two, the signals when you light your pipe. Light your pipe. And three... Come right back. Come right back. <laughs> <laughs> you better hurry back to the mine before they miss you. I'll stop for the ranch right away. That's the way the land lies, eh? Well, you can tell Hoppy that we'll be there, ready to back him up. Thanks, Mr. Peters. It's fine of you to help. If there's any thanks due, you give them to Cassidy. He's the one who talked me into this. Well, make yourself comfortable. I'll go get a horse for Hoppy. Boys, get saddles on your horses. What's up, Mr. Peters? Why, well, Hoppy's all set to start moving in tonight. Oh, then we're riding. Yeah, we'll cut over north of the Devil May Care mine. Well, there we can see Windy's signal that all's clear, then we close in. What's the signal? Windy will light his pipe. But I think maybe you better stay here and look out for your guest. And miss all that fun? I should say not. Say, I owe a couple of them miners a black eye, and I aim to pay them back. I reckon I'll find a way to keep him here until we get back. Come on. Fred, saddle my horse. Well, here you are. You can tell Hoppy that we'll meet him just north of the Devil May Care Mine. Thanks, Mr. Peters. Someday I'll try to tell you how really grateful I am. Well, just having you smile at me that way is thanks a plenty. There you are. Goodbye. So long. What's the idea, Lucky? I'm going along. What about Martin? Oh, he'll keep until we get back. Hey, let me out of here. Don't go off and leave me like this. Hey! Let me will Well, suppose he gets out of there. Well, he won't go very far without any clothes on. <laughs> all ready, men? Yep, we're all set. All ready, boss. All right. Let's go. Let me out, Don't go off and leave me like this. Let me out, Will.
doing here? I brought your horse, but I see you have yours. Yeah, he come back as soon as I turned him loose. Buck and the boys are waiting for you, just north of the Devil May Care Mines. Well, that's fine, Ann. But you shouldn't have come out here. Well, I, I had to do something. I couldn't just sit by. Sometimes it's better to play safe. But I feel it's up to me to see that the men who killed Denny are punished. That'll probably be done before morning, Ann. Hoppy, don't let anything happen to you. Now, don't worry. Nothing's going to happen. Everything works out right, but you'll be heading east before long. Someday. I hope I can do something to show my appreciation for all you've done for me. Forget it. I'll see you later. Good luck. Thanks. You stay here. When you get the signal from Frosty, relay it back to Red. We're all ready, Cassidy. Lucky's getting set for windy signal. Good. Mighty why do you to be here, Buck. <laughs> they couldn't keep me away. He's on the job, all right. Now keep your eyes peeled on him. When he lights his pipe, give the signal. I got you, my feet. Everything's all set, Hoppy. Good. Brought this along in case you might need it. I probably will. There they go. Got the freeze out spy today. I can guess what happened to him. We ought to be getting that signal soon. Who's on the lookout? Frosty and Al. I hope Wendy's on the job. How gamble he is. Here, Mr. Slade. Been inspecting again? What do you think I've been doing? Hey? Someday you're gonna hire me once too often. Yeah, I believe you're right about that. Yes, sir. Something's wrong. If we don't get the signal in 10 minutes, let's charge anyway. No, we're liable to run right into a trap. What are you trying to do? <laughs> My pipe. I ain't got no matches. Yeah, see if these will work, you mattress-faced old jackrabbit. Thank you very much, Mr. Slade. You're very welcome. Give you a whistle.
You two of the men come with me. Lucky, you and the rest of the boys stay here and guard the entrance of the mine till we get back. Hey, Jim, come on. Well, with Cassidy out of the way, we ought to have clear sailing from now on. Yep. <laughs> Here's to success. Maybe I should let you two finish them drinks. Probably the last one you'll have for a long time. Put your hands on the table and keep them there. All right, Buck, keep them here till we finish this roundup. Everything all right? No trouble yet. Fred, you stay right where you are. Lucky you and the rest of the boys come with me. in the town. I'll meet you there. I'm dying for a smoke, Peters. I haven't had one all night. You mind if I light a cigar? Oh, I guess it's all right. got away. Which way they go? Went that way. Wait a minute, Cassidy. I'm riding No, one. you're not. This is a personal matter.
I don't know whether you're right or not, Hoppy, about it being the best thing for me to take a trip east. I know I'm right. You need a rest, man. Go ahead now and have a good time, and don't be worrying about the mine. You don't need to worry none about that mine, Miss Ann, with me keeping my eye on it. He means with us keeping our eyes on it. Oh, well, then, with us keeping our eyes on it. But them fellas you got working for you, they sure trying their best to make you a millionaire. I know that, Wendy. But I don't want to be rich. Unless I can share it with someone. Well, the men at the mine are not complaining about the way you're sharing your profits with them. You know very well what I'm trying to say, don't you? Why, no, Ann, but I... Then if you don't come east to say it, I suppose I've got to come back here. You're darn tootin'. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>